Hello, this is Tony, Tony's Music and the Administrator of Graphical Design, the Facebook group. Uh, I'm going to carry on with Design and Animate a Character Give, and this is Part 7, and this is Adjusting the Animation to Make It Look Right, and also Rendering the GIF for whatever use you want it for. So, um, hopefully this will be the last one now. So, what I'm going to do now is, this is where we was last off, uh, where he was doing his angry animation, and his arms are not right, are they? As you can tell there, right? So, what we need to do is we click on the um, 2D motion key head detail, like I just did, which is that little... Thing there and it comes up with this box right um, what you do is you click on the shoulders and let's move the shoulders down a little touch and the elbows around a little bit actually I might move the shoulder back up a little bit more actually because that ain't 100% it let's, let's move it up and then across around a bit like that right that's better and do the same with the other one Let's just move it across a little bit that way. And then the arm in from the elbow, like that. I might just need to move the shoulder round a bit more, actually. So, about there, somewhere like that. Yeah, that looks a bit more reasonable to what it was. Actually, that other shoulder's a bit high, isn't it? Just slightly too high there. That's better. Right, now, all this is is just a matter of considering what you think is the best for you, really. Um, I might just change that, the elbows, a bit more, actually, because uh, I don't like the look of them, I think. They need to be bent in more. Oops. Let's pull it out like that first, and then bend it in like this. Yeah? And do the same with that one. Pull it out, and then turn it round so it's bending in like that. that's better right that's the way I want it to be right so that's the end point I need to check the thingy on there I need to put that back on there right now let's just check I've got it in the right place on there no I haven't put that there right now let's start again from the beginning let's just make sure it comes out all right yeah that's fine right now that is right because I've, I've made sure his arms look right when they're finished rather than leave them up sticking in a funny way there was there was the wrong way around completely so um, that's what you've got to watch out for things like that so if, if you watch out for things like that all you need to do is use the t 2d key uh, motion key editor and change it around while it's still on the um, timeline like that so that you can find the actual point which you need to change it right so I was lucky it was at the end but it could be in the middle somewhere like there so you, you've got that one too low and you want it higher or something like that so you need to get to that point where the thing looks a bit weird to start off with and then you can, you can scroll through it slowly by going to each point like that and changing particular points if you wish but if you change a particular point you've got to recheck the whole lot just to make sure you, you you haven't screwed everything up right but most of it should be okay which it is on mine right once you've done that uh, to render it what you need to do is you go over up to this render here where it goes gives you a render video render image render object sequence export PSD or whatever right you can do that you can go render image if you want a, a GIF image or a PNG or if you want an object sequence, it'll give you a lot of different pictures. Or you can render as a video for MLV, I suppose. Possibly WMV, MLV, Pop Video, MP4, AVI. Right. Or you can get to this one here. This this little uh, bracket with a, an arrow on it. That gives you render too. And I'll usually use that one rather than go up to the render window there. Right, now what I'll do is I'll put an image on, go to GIF, right, and then I'll just leave it a sequence, and then I'll change that to 24 frames per second, FPS, pips as the golem, right, and then I'll leave everything else there, 
except for this output size, I'll change the output size to the size I want, which is 1920. And then I need to unlock the ratio, so I can change that to 1080. Then I need to lock the ratio for that, so that you just right. And then you can change the range if, say, you got the first one doesn't look right and you don't want that one, but you want the next frame on, which you can change it if you wish. I don't usually bother with that unless I've made a mistake on something, but you know, you can use that if you need to. And then you can choose the loop options, which is loop it once, which is just go through the one um, animation. You can keep on looping it forever so it keeps going backwards and forwards, or you can set a loop count, which I usually go for three times on there. Usually three times, but on, on this occasion, I'm just going to go for once. I'll export it, give it a name. Um, let's go to desktop and put design, design gift. Oops, I put SD there. Now. I'll just put design and then dot and that'll do. Right, so it's gonna render that now and it'll come up in a minute with the actual image doing the actual animation, whatever one you've done. If it's only once it'll only do it once. If it's uh, forever it'll keep going until you stop it. And the other one uh, it'll do the amount of times you asked it to, which is you know, when I, I do it, I do three loops, so I do it three times for me. On this one, it's only going to do it once now. Uh, just wait for it to come up, it won't be long. A couple of minutes, if that. Maximum. So, once that's done, that'll be the end of the uh, course. Um, and you can put your character on wherever you want. Um, I'd I forgot to mention that when you do your render, if you want the character with transparency, you need to make sure that's checked there, right? So make sure you've got transparency checked if you want it on a background that's not on here. Uh, if you want it on the background, they say you, you don't need to knock off the transparency, right? Okay, but that's basically how you um, adjust the animation and render it. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial course um, by Tony Smith and I hope you will like and subscribe to Tony's Music. Thank you very much for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it and I hope it's useful to you. Okay, thank you.